Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. Today we will talk about the beauty of God, divine attribute. Why are you so beautiful? Beauty is the pleasing quality of things that reflects God's own beauty. Beauty pleases not only the senses in the ordinary way, but the highest perceptions of the intellect, entering into the beauty of the soul that being beautiful seeks beauty. She is actually seeking God who is the maximum expression of beauty. God being beauty glorifies Himself creating all things beautiful because everything reflects in some way his image as creator. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 He has made everything beautiful in his time. He has also said eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Genesis 1 verse 31 And when God finished his creation, he declared, it is all very good. Beauty is like the signature of God expressing the origin of all created things. Beauty is a combination of different qualities that united in harmony describe a beauty associated with all things coming from God. In beauty we find harmony, order, contrast, uniqueness, individuality, and perfection. Everything that God created is perfect. It serves the purpose of His will, and there is no way imperfections can be found in God's creations because He is an artist in every one of His conceptions. The man who is far away from God will be unhappy not accepting the will of God, so he will find ways to see imperfections in the creation of God. But God calls man to glorify him, discovering his beauty. So the soul yearns to be with God because it really understands that God is beauty itself. Psalm 104 verses 1 to 35 Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a tent. Sin is a distortion of beauty, therefore is something very ugly, that has ugly consequences and brings ugliness into the world. The beauty of God is perceived by all the senses. That is why even a blind person can have a feeling of beauty either in sounds, temperature, or the sense of touch or smell. A child perceives beauty in all the new things that he discovers and is amazed. Therefore he understands that there is a God behind all that beauty, and in the same way all creatures are benefited by the beauty of God. We can easily find beauty when we look at a flower, a bird, a mountain, a lake, a river, a starry night, a beautiful person, or when we hear a beautiful melody, and straight away we are captivated by the beauty infused by the Creator in all things. We cannot see God, but the beauty of creation reminds us that there is a perfect beautiful God behind all this. This is enough to convince even an atheist. Just to look at the eyes of a little child, the love of a mother, the nice flavor of food, the scent of a flower. Beauty is so well balanced that it never exceeds its proportions, and even if it does according to our perceptions, it will always compensate in another way to keep the ordained harmony infused by God. Beauty is one attribute of God that He has imprinted on all created things as a signature that reminds us that God is beauty itself, because nothing can be more beautiful than beauty itself, and beauty cannot be more beautiful than God 
its creator. Therefore, God is glorified in the beauty of his creation. Psalm 50, verse 2 Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. God has made every one of us beautiful. It doesn't matter how we see ourselves. In the eyes of God, each one of us is beautiful. Unfortunately, we all complain. Some will say they are too tall, others they are too short, others they are too skinny, others they are too fat, etc. We all seek a perfection and beauty that is missing in us. But that is precisely the call of God to look at ourselves in His eyes. In the image of God, we are little co-creators. So God allows us to create beautiful things. Therefore, man expresses beauty through different arts and delights in the challenge of creating beautiful words. Psalm 139, verse 14 I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. But we must not allow the fascination of beauty to take away the love in our hearts. This is a dangerous situation that takes away the love that is due to God. Therefore, we must love God above all things. When we love something above God, we make it a God. Therefore, we adore a false God. Such is the case of the beautiful people that surround us. I had a friend who lost his mother. He was so depressed, he said he was going to take his own life because he couldn't live without his mother. It was very difficult for me to explain to him that we cannot go against the will of God. In the same way, a man loves a woman, and a woman loves a man. When their loved ones go, they experience great loss, and they don't realize that they didn't keep their relationships below their relationship with God. The list could be endless and even ridiculous. How people cry and suffer when they lose a pet, but would they cry remembering the passion of our Lord? I just wonder. People are fascinated with created things and sometimes forget the beauty and fascination they should have for our Creator that is worthy of all admiration, praise and worship. All things have been created by Him and belong to Him. We are fortunate creatures to share the bounty of our magnificent Lord. As we get older, we all begin to lose the beauty we had in our youth. Wrinkles appear. The heaviness of our age shows in our face. The power of our muscles diminishes. Our vision and hearing deteriorate. Our hair either falls or becomes gray. The beautiful healthy person starts degradation as if the Lord is pointing us our way of return to the dust where we come from. This is the time to reflect seriously on the other beauty that we have neglected to look at, the image of God within us. That beautiful image is eternal. It is more radiant than the sun. It is the envy of the material world because it is the everlasting beauty beyond compare of God within us. So we must realize that the invisible is more beautiful than the visible, that the spiritual is more beautiful than the material, that the visible is just a call to penetrate the mystery of God. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love Him. We all have it. We all have within us a source of everlasting joy in that faithful presence of God within us. This is why we must become spiritual. We must renounce the beauty of created things in order to find the eternal beauty. We must detach ourselves of the physical world that surrounds us 
because very soon, sooner than we would like to expect, there will be nothing but our spiritual being facing the justice of God. Are we ready for that? How beautiful it is to realize that we are children of the Most High and that our encounter with Him will happen very soon. In that realization, we must live our lives in accordance to the will of God, longing to see His face. Our merciful God, on the other hand, is waiting to be glorified by each and every creature that He has saved through His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God! Praise and honor to God in His divine attribute of beauty and in all His attributes and perfections. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share it on social networks, leave your comments, make it viral, it is very important. We must all learn to appreciate the beauty of God. God bless you.